I use a lot of plywood and one of the frustrations I have working with it is cross cutting wider panels like anything that is too wide for my bigger cross cut sled. I normally have to get out my circular saw and set up a guide rail to make that cut which is not as convenient as I would like if I just want to square up a panel like I did here and take a little piece off. What I wanted to have was a lot of capacity. I want to be able to straighten up or square up panels that are at least 36 inches wide. And this has this capacity because it slides back and forth like that. It also rides in the miter slot in the saw with the runner on the bottom. And it clamps the work in tightly with just two wing nuts on each end. And because the base of the jig is a half inch thick and I didn't want to make it too wide, I added this fold down piece on the side of my table saw here that gets out of the way when I don't need it. Like I said, I didn't want the jig to be too big, so I started off with a piece of Baltic birch plywood that was around six inches wide and a little bit longer than the 50 inches that I needed. So I trimmed the end off first thing with the miter saw. And then what I did was I cut the guide rail that will fit in the miter slot in my saw right off of that piece of plywood and fine tune that to fit in the slot. It was a little bit too thick, so I had to rip some off the top. Now I'm using plywood because it's dimensionally stable, although I could have used say metal or plastic or even solid wood, but solid wood will expand and contract with seasonal moisture changes, so I much prefer to use the good quality plywood for this. Next I can take the guide strip and glue and pin it right to the edge that I just cut, which is nice and straight, and then I'll set that aside until the glue dries before I do anything else with that. With the glue dried on the guide strip, I put the jig into the miter slot and I made that first cut along the edge. I want to make sure that the saw is at 90 degrees when I do this because I'm only going to be using this for 90 degree cuts. And what this will do is it will give me support right on the edge, right where the blade is cutting, so that will reduce the amount of chip out I'll have on the panel when I cross cut it. Next I laid out the whole location for the fixed bolt and the slot location for the bolt that moves back and forth to adjust for different size panels. And the first thing I'm going to do is route out a counterbore, I guess you could say, that the head of the toilet bolt will fit into. It doesn't have to be very deep at all, but I do need to make it wide enough for the bolt head to slide back and forth. So I'm using a piece of veneer tape as a spacer for the router to make the cut just a little bit wider. Next, I can use a quarter inch router bit and cut the slot for the shank of the bolt to fit through. For the fixed bolt, I'm going to drill a shallow counter bore for that head, and then I'm going to drill the rest of the way through with a quarter inch bit. And now with the hole and the slot prepared, I can put the bolts in place. And to do that, I'm using nylon insert lock nuts. And then the fixed bolt one gets tightened so that it doesn't move. And then the one in the slot gets tightened now, but slacked off so that the bolt can slide back and forth. Now that the base is finished, I can start working on the clamping bar. And I'm using a scrap piece of maple that I had from an old project. And I'm cutting it about one and a half by one and a half. And it needs to be long enough to accommodate the widest panel that I'll put in the jig, which is 36 inches. So I made the bar around 42. It's probably not going to make that much of a difference, but I didn't see any harm in planing a bit of a curve into the clamping bar so that when it's tightened on the ends, it has a bulge in the middle that puts more pressure on. And I'm just doing that by hand with the hand plane, bringing it down to a mark I put on the end. One end of the clamping bar has a hole for the fixed bolt and then the other end needs a slot cut in it for the adjustable bolt. And I could have done this with the router again or with the router table, but whenever I need to cut a slot into solid wood like this, I much prefer to do it on a table saw. So I've got the blade lifted up as high as it will go and I'm going to make stop cuts until I have that quarter inch slot down the middle. I kind of messed up here and I cut on the wrong side first. I should have cut on the outboard side and then moved the fence in closer to make the next cut. But that's easy enough to fix by putting the fence on the other side of the blade. 
The clamping bar will work if the slot is open on the end like this, but it doesn't need to be, so I'm gonna close it up just with a filler piece glued in. With those nylon lock nuts in place, they'll stop how far the clamping bar can go down. So that would limit how thick a panel I can cut on the thing. So I'm just gonna make a clearance cut on the bottom of the bar so that the lock nut can fit up inside there and the clamping bar can come down closer to the base. I need to do the same with the hole that I'm gonna drill for the fixed bolt. So I drill the counter bore first and then the 5 16 inch through hole. With that done, the jig is finished and ready to use. All I need to do is add washers and wing nuts and try it out.